<sighs> what's up guys? Hello, what's up? It's Z Mike Galo here in 1987. And if you guys see this picture today, today I'm reviewing the 3DS version of Super Smash Brothers. I got a day one and I've been playing this game ever since. I put more than 40 hours into this game, playing all the little versions of it, all the modes. And in case you don't believe me, here it is. Right here. The actual game. So take it out. Here you go. Show you that. That's just it. So now, this game's been anticipated for a really long time, ever since there's an 8 Smash Brothers Brawl, which I have up there. It's really been a good series, and it started in, since 64, and now, this is the first handheld version of Smash Brothers. But the point is, the hype. Does it live up to the hype? Is it worth the $40? Is it worth buying it all? Is it a great portable handheld game? My opinion, yes it is. We're going to get into that as my notes have disappeared on me. Oh no, there they are. My notes that I have for this game are right here. Um, so basically this is going to be me uh, personally going through um, like what little things that they gave us. And we're not going to go too deep into all the modes because I want like you guys who haven't gotten it yet to basically try it out for yourselves. So let me just like, start it up just for like the music to play over. Um, so basically we're going to start with... with how the game looks, the graphics, the visuals, and let's just say right now, I think the graphics on this 3DS actually is really good. I'm playing with my 3DS XL, which I got, so it looks really good in the game. Um, animations wise, it's amazing. The fighters, when you play as, they move at a great, smooth, no slowing down, 60 frames per second, just like you would get on the Wii U that's coming up, or the Wii version. It, it's a great uh, frame rate, it's great th uh, 60 frames. And it runs smoothly. There's some really great animations for the game, and it's really well done. Um, when it comes to um, trophy uh, characters or assistant Pokemon, you guys will know that it runs at 30 frames per second because you'll know a little bit of a not slowdown, but um, it doesn't move as fast as the fighters. And of course, this game has to be at 60 frames per second, so the game will, won't have any lag or like button press or latency. So. In other words, visually and graphic-wise, it looks amazing. And the backgrounds, and the levels, and the maps in the game are really damn right beautiful. Now, if you guys are one of those ga gamers that wants to story with the fighting game, like what Mortal Kombat does, or what Tekken does, you're not going to get that here. This has no real story in it. It's because um, they basically got the OC Adventure Story mode, which was in, um, uh, what was it called? Uh, the Brawl, the 2008 Wii version. So you took that out. And basically what they focused on here was just addictive, hardcore, action gameplay. Gameplay here is so addictive at times, I didn't like stop playing for like a while even though my battery was about to die. I basically paused the game, ran up here, sat in my bed, charged it, and continued playing all night at times. That's how addictive this game can be. And it's great. As um, characters, there's actually a total of 51 characters all together in the game. And, and basically, originally it's 48, but there's another 3 because of, guess what, me fighters are in the game now. Um, me fighters in this game are downright amazing. I can actually show you one of them if you guys are actually able to see it. Uh, it's this. This one, for example, is my brawler. There's three types of fighters you can pick in the game. There's a brawler, which is all about knuckles and fists like Mario, who's all punching and kicking. Or you can even have a swordsman, which I have right here. I'll show you guys. Um, the swordsman. He's all swordy, and you can change and customize them. And then there's the gunner. Well, swordsman is not like Link from Legend of Zelda, and the gunner is a lot like um, uh, Samus from Metroid Prime. As you see, they all have their cool abilities. And what's cool about this game is um, when you uh, design these characters, you can change the equipment of ha uh, how you want to balance them, if you want to make them faster, you want to have them better defense, which all that brawler is, like my brawler is that just bruising people and damages people. Um, and you can even change their special abilities, so like what you do when they press like, move the up st uh, button stick up and press B, you can, it, it, you can decide what um, abilities they have. So my character has a helicopter kick, where he starts spinning in circles and just kicks like crazy, or you could change it up for a guy who does like a thrusting kick in the air and does a knockout. Or the headache maker. Just all these type of cool variety of moves for unique characters to fight. 
And not only that, there's also um, design of costumes. That's right, characters can now have costumes in the game. But it's only your Mii fighters that are limited to. Um, for example, um, my brawler has a mecha suit. Cut for his normal outfit, he'll just have like a Bruce Lee like outfit because my fight brawler is yellow. And he has a, a yellow Bruce Lee outfit. I can also change it to have a mechanized war outfit. They go all like gigantic and thrusting his robotic arms, which is kind of cool. Or you can um, change for like a Street Fighter costume like. And uh, Gunners, they have some cool costumes as well. They have like a futuristic high tech gunner suit with one arm. They also have um, a gunner suit in the Wild West version, so he has a cowboy suit on. And the Swordsman has all types of it. There's a uh, cybernetic, a ninja. Pirate or Shadow Knight's armor, which is really badass. Um, you can even change what they have on their head. So you can ha make them wear Luigi's hat, you can make them wear Samus's um, helmet, Zelda's wig, which is kind of cool. Man. It gives it all this variety. And for me, I always change my characters, and you can always change them, um, change how they look, and you can also change their abilities to them. Problem is, though, you can only change the co costumes, like this type of like, costume editing on certain characters. It's kinda sad, but you can also do play the game while you be unlocking new abilities and new um, moves and specials for characters throughout the game. So I'm gonna see you gonna be looking down my 3DS and I'm gonna show I'm gonna say all the names that are gonna be in this game. Uh, let's just start with the basics first. Okay. Uh, let's see we have simple. We have Mario, Luigi, Peach, Bowser, Yoshi, those are standards. Then there's Rosalina, who's new, and Luma. There's Bowser Jr. Wario's back. Mr. Game and Watch returns. Uh, Zero Suit Samus is a new character. At Samus and Zero Suit Samus are now the separate characters, which is awesome. So you want to be pen penalized when you're Samus, when you're in Brawl. Um, Toon Link is back again. Ganondorf, Sheik, Zelda, um, Link, Diddy Kong, Donkey Kong, uh, Pit. There's also Palutina. There's also Dark Pit, then there's also Marth, Ike, and a few other characters from other games like Robin, and Little Mac is in the game, this all-out punching boxing brawler who's in the game as well. Rob the Robot shows up again, and even a classic one from the NES times is Duck Hunt. Duck Hunt is in the game, and his finisher is badass, basically. Also, new characters like Villager shows up in the game now, um, the Wii Fit Trainer shows up, and they're awesome as well. Pac-Man shows up, which is amazing, and Mega Man. That's like a lot of characters here. So there's a lot of characters they put in this game. And that's all, and all these characters' names are ones that you unlock afterwards. There's a total of 51 characters. So count, make sure. And there's always the me, uh, uh, the me fighters. But you gotta pick which one you gotta pick. Like, I have three different designs. There's Swordsman, Brawler, and Gunner, like I said. So that's kind of cool for the game. Um, when it comes to variety, it's always variety. Um, you can, like I said, there's three different types of fighters, and there's three different standard, like, forms, and, and the positions of how they do their gameplay is really diverse, and, and it's, uh, it's really fun to do. Like, for example, Little Mac, for example, is a guy who's good on the ground. When he, when he runs on the ground, he's fast, and his punches are so powerful that with one hit, he can knock you out of the, like, area for good, and that's awesome. Other characters, you have to like build up their abilities and build up their combos to really give them a kick-ass performance, which is really well done. Um, and there's a lot of modes to really do in the game. There's your normal smash mode, which is the mo this is the basic mode where you just bring friends together. There's group mode where you can play against people that's right nearby you. So if my if um if uh, someone nearby me has a copy of the game, and I can just do that. But it's not online mode. I'll get into that later. Uh, and then there's also a new mode called Smash Run mode. What Smash Run mode is, is basically you pick a character, and then you basically do these, like, uh, it's kind of like the platform mode that you get from Brawl, which is basically just run around and beat enemies. Where you have to collect boost, special abilities, and uh, all types of abilities you get. So you gotta get, like, higher jump, higher speed, higher attack, basically higher everything. And while you're doing that, three other computers are also fighting all these enemies and getting all these abilities, too. And then at the end of the time, because you only have five minutes to do this, at the end of the time you have to do a challenge. A challenge like, um, don't stop jumping, jump, climb through all these platforms, or get to the end of a race, or beat each other out with one hit only. Which is all these kind of varieties. 
and I like the idea of it, but the problem is, is at times, is that some kind, some characters are just so slow at times. For example, my me gunner is slow as a rock. He he doesn't run that fast, even though I have like all this speed on him. It puts me in a race, and I end up in fourth, which is kind of unfair at times. I wish they balanced it out a little bit, and it wish it wasn't so randomized, which is kind of a disappointment. But at the same time, I kind of enjoyed it. So. This also says here that you can even play the Wii U version when it comes out with this um, controller, which is awesome. But as you guys know, the Wii U version has not come out yet, so we, I can't uh, test this footage out. When I review the Wii U version, I will let you guys know about how does this game play, this uh, system play on the Wii U. So hopefully we get into that. There's also Street Pass mode. Now Street Pass mode is a mode that I really like to see in this game, but I really like to see from other developers. But Street Pass mode is really, um, it's basically brawl mode, but the thing is, you have to be close your game like this, and walk all around the city and meet people. You don't have to meet them, but you can go right past them. If they had this game in 3DS, it would basically connect, and then you have to do a game of when you're just top, you're topped on a menu, and it's like, upward, so it's like a bird's eye view, and you're a little top, and as always top, you have to knock each other off this board. Every single person you knock off the board, you get tokens and little trophies. And if you knock them all down, you get a trophy, you win. If you don't, you get knocked out, but you still keep your tokens. You don't get the special trophy. This is a really cool Street Pass mode, but it's called Street Smash. And what's cool about this is you can base... It's, it really wants you to... It, it makes me particularly want to go outside, walk around my 3DS, and basically get some points. And also get the uh, cool abilities. Now, challenge mode is back. What this is, basically, there's a board of things you have to do. Like, you have to um, play, um, um, unlock, uh, use a smash as Pac-Man in Pac-Man's level. Or, you, or play a certain game mode for the first time. Things like that, it really allows you to really, um, play all those types of modes. Um, then, there's also the solo mode, which allows you to do the classic mode from Melee, which is basically just... Choose your own path of victory, and you have to use gold to make the game even harder and harder. So it's kind of like Kid Icarus Uprising put stuff in a pit, or this gigantic gauntlet, makes the game even harder than last time, which is amazing. Then there's also a mode where you have to uh, play as a fighter, and you have to defeat everyone else in certain conditions, which is kind of cool. Then there's a stadium mode, which allows you to do all types of mini games as defeat an army, destroy certain targets with target blast mode, or hit a home run with a baseball bat and a punching bag, basically, which is awesome. And not only that, the multi-man smash mode, which is an army mode, basically has multiple varieties. There's a super hard mode, mode there's a hundred man mode, there's an endless mode, there's a three minute mode, there's so much device, uh, diversity that it helps the game live on. Then there's even trophy works where you basically just on uh, this platform, you have to destroy all these trophies in a certain time. Now we get to go into the online features. Now does online work? Yes. But first, the game needs to download a patch for the game first in order to play online. So that's the only thing. And the servers work actually well. I played online for at least like two or three hours. And I played mostly for fun mode. And there's two main modes of this mode play. There's for fun and for glory. For glory is basically it's hardcore smash. Where you basically just do this. You basically it's one on one, final destination, nothing. No special abilities I believe. You just go one on one. It's a challenge for those who really love smash. And there's uh, for fun mode. That's wrong button. Um, for fun mode, it's basically just all off fun, you play with four people, you do smash, and you unlock all types of abilities. And that's awesome, and I love that. But the problem is with the multiplayer is, in my game, when I've been playing for the last few hours, I have been noticing some really long lag. There's been some lag where the game will just slow down, or freeze for a few seconds. And I know it's a portable game, but I wish it could, like, hopefully they'll have a patch or an update that could fix the lag, and help me fix this game. If it's not for, if it's not like the personal games problems, it might be something else. I don't know. There's even a spectator mode when you can watch other people beat, get the smash beat out of them, which is awesome. And I'm glad for that. It's really a cool, cool mode, which a lot of games like fighting games forget to put in their games, which is cool. And there's even a conquest mode when it's just teaming up fighters fighting for supremacy. You gotta support like a group of fighters and you get rewards for that, which is kind of cool. I didn't really go into that because I didn't really play that mode that much because it just got an update for that too. So, I think that's it of everything. If there's any flaws I have with the game, it's not really that many. For one for me is, I do like the fact that each fighter gets their own special colors or costumes, 
but I wish, I just wish that they would actually give us more smashes because I love playing as my uh, mini fighters or playing as other characters, but after using their smash after like 10 or 20 times, it starts to get repetitive as the fact that they only have one finisher. Maybe for the next Smash Brothers, not for the one for Wii U, but well, the next one after the next Nintendo console or hand comes out, they can probably mix up more uh, more Smashes, probably two or three Smashes, so I want to be doing the same move over and over again. Hopefully, just give it more variety. I would like that. That's like my main problem with the game, really. In fact, there's no story, kind of like lowers value a little bit, but then the value is always increased, like the replay value is always increased because of the gameplay. That's the real reason why I want to play this game. Gameplay saves it. Um, so that's it, guys, for the review. So what's my final score? What's my final verdict? My final verdict is a 9.3 out of 10. This is a must-buy for Nintendo 3DS owners all around the world. It's worth buying. It's worth the $40 price tag. And it's just all-out fun. The 3D mode, which I have played a lot of, 3D mode is flip screen up. Um, it 3D mode here is amazing. The way it works is just downright beautiful. It looks great. The like the backgrounds they have a lot more of atmosphere. Not atmosphere, but they look more like clear. And the anim and the fighters they come out of the screen at times. Certain the part when the fighters just like come and scream like this. You know, that's kind of cool with the 3D. Um, like I said, I wish there was more variety of Smash. So it's a 9.3 out of 10 for me personally. I really enjoyed the game. I do like wish that the lag of multiplayer was fixed a little bit. Uh, thank God there's no server problems, because if there was, then the game would have tons of problems at launch. But overall, day one I played it, and I loved it from the beginning. I can't wait for the Wii U version when it comes out in Thanksgiving time, and I just can't wait to review that as well. So, um, guys, that's the end of this review. Please like the video, comment below, subscribe. Also, follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, there will be like, little tabs at the bottom of the video, so you guys can follow me there. And I'll see you guys in our next video of the Michael 1997. Bye-bye.